Today we're going to look at a really uh, beginner short version lesson for Super Mario Brothers. Um, many of you may have this tune in your head already based on the fact that you've played the game or maybe you've just heard it in the air. Uh, but this is a great kind of um, early way to get cozy with reading tablature and having a really strong rhythm by ear. Um, I say that because this song does have a good amount of unique rhythms in it, but because uh, a lot of us know it really well, uh, we're, we're going to be able to translate that to guitar a lot easier than if we were reading all of those rhythms. So that said, we're just going to look at this really short version today, uh, just the part that I played there for a nice sort of beginner tune of, of reading this. So first of all, go ahead and view or download the free sheet, free sheet music that is linked below in the description. And let's get started. So right off the bat, we see in this first measure, we have a few open strings in a row, but up top we see that they have a different rhythm to them. Bum, 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 bum. Granted, if you've heard the song, that might be easy to decipher, but uh, if you're fairly new to it, give it a listen or read that rhythm. I think it's also important to say here that sometimes silencing the note can be really important. I don't really have staccato markings on the page here, but we could silence a note and that's also really effective. So meaning, let's say I played that first measure and I silenced that last zero and the last three, uh, the, both of those octave Gs. Let's say I don't, let's say I let those ring. quite have the same touch when notes are ringing out, so it can be helpful to silence them. That said, I think reading this will be pretty relaxed. Next measure kind of starts like an A minor 7 chord. One, zero, two. And I would say, try to keep your fingers respective of the frets as much as possible. So for that second measure, even that first measure. When it, when it has something on the first fret, use that first finger. When it has something on the third fret, use that th third finger. And like the second measure, second finger, second fret, second finger, second fret again. Third finger, third fret, second finger, second fret. That way the hand doesn't have to shift around. It can stay in one spot. And if it doesn't have to move, great. That means it doesn't have to replace itself and uh, you're less, less likely to have a buzz or some sort of note error. If we look at the second line, bum, 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 bum. We do go up to the fifth fret. We don't have a fifth finger. So I, in that case, I would recommend shifting higher. Three, five. Then we can just take the same, same shape back to one, three. Open, one, three, zero. So if we look at that third measure again. There you have it. We get to kind of keep the hand in that same shape. Let's go on to that fourth measure. Same thing that we had in the second measure, identical. Onto the fifth measure, again, same thing we had. So once we polish one little spot of the way that we uh, move or treat our hands, we can use that elsewhere in the song. And now, as we look at the third line, second measure, one, two, three, four, five, sixth measure, we finally have a new section or a new part. And for that same thing, use fingers respective of the frets. Three, two, one, four, zero, fourth finger, fourth fret. And you're back to one, two, one, two, one, three. One, two, one, two, one, three. Next measure starts the same way. And now we're up to that eighth fret. Many of you 
probably most of you, have a, a marking or a dot on your seventh fret. Use that as a way to orient yourself. That way you're not kind of aiming for the eighth fret in this big piece of wood here. So use that eighth, use that eighth, or use that seventh fret dot to get to that eighth fret efficiently. Three, two, one, four, zero, eight, eight, eight. And then the last line starts the same way. And finally, so if we do the last line in total. And same thing for that ending. Make sure those notes are detached. Bum, 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 rather than. If the notes are long, yeah, they are the right notes, but it's not gonna quite have that feeling of the song, of that bum, bum, bum. And you could either, either, either silence those notes by lifting up on this hand, where you take away the pressure and it'll immediately silence that string. Or you could rest your picking finger on whatever string you wish to silence. I actually do both of those. So I take away pressure on this hand and I also rest my finger on, on whatever string I want to silence. That way I kind of have a bit of an insurance policy that I know it's going to be silenced because I'm trying it two different ways. And there you have it. There is the short version of the Super Mario Brothers main theme. Uh, check out that free sheet music in the description. Uh, please, if you have any comments or song requests, uh, write them in the comment section. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and enjoyable for a nice, relaxed beginner guitar lesson. Uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.